So this question immediately stands out to me as a translate word problem question, just given the sheer length of it. So let's read it, making sure to stop at the end of each sentence, maybe even stopping in between the sentence if we see a lot of quantitative information that can be written down. Um, and then we put all that stuff together so that we can answer the question without needing to reread and reread and reread um, this long question. So the question says the average number of students per classroom at Central High School from 2000 to 2010 can be modeled by the equation. And anytime a question provides an equation, I just like to write it down myself, right? So y equals 0.56x plus 27.2. Again, that's our average number of students per classroom equation where X represents the numbers of the number of years since 2000. Okay, so X is years since 2000, right? So that means when X is one, we're just talking about the year 2001. Um, and Y represents the average number of students per classroom, right? So I think I understand that, but I'll just write that down as well. Average number of students. Okay, which of the following best describes the meaning of the number 0 0.56 in the equation? All right, well, 0 0.56. So this draws my attention to the structure of this equation, which is the structure of slope-intercept form of an equation, which is y equals mx plus b. In this case, m, right, or the slope, is the 0 0.56. So what do we know about slope? Well, we know that slope is rise over run. Rise being in the y value, which a lot of students learn as y2 minus y1, right? The difference between two y points. And run being in the x direction, or you may have seen it as x2 minus x1. Well, for us, we were just told that x represents the number of years and y represents the average number of students. So if x is you know, representing years, then I know that the denominator for my slope has to do with years. And the numerator has to do with number of students. Right? That's just looking at the meaning. That's, that's changing or converting this meaning of rise over run or this difference in y values in the numerator and x values in the denominator to the meaning of the word problem itself given the definitions of X and Y that were provided to us. So the 0 0.56 must have something to do with the number of students, the number of students in the classroom per, right? Because this means per, per year. Right? So the number of students is increasing by about 0.56 per year from the year 2000 to 2010. Now recognize another part of the translate word problem strategy, I still have not read the answer choices, right? I'm doing all of this work just based upon what did I translate, right? What did I write down? And then what is the actual question here? And then making sure that I give myself a chance to understand it before getting confused potentially by the answer choices. So answer choice A says the total number of students at the school at the school in 2000. Well, that's definitely not true because slope does not give you a total number of anything. Choice B, the average number of students per classroom in 2000. Well, that's also not true because slope is rise over run. Slope has to do with rate of change. Um, so that's, uh, that's definitely also not the right answer. Choice C, the estimated increase in the average number of students per classroom each year. So I like that one because at least it's dealing with the number of increase. Um, so I like that definition. Let's see choice D, see if it's any better. The estimated difference between the average number of students per classroom in 2010 and in 2000. So that's pretty close. Um, however, what that does is immediately focuses you on 2010 versus 2000. And really what we're looking at is a per year situation, not a per, like this would be, this is like a per 10 years, right? If we're comparing what was happening in 2000 to what's happening in 2010. And that's not exactly, although it's pretty close, it's not exactly what we're looking for for slope or for our M value. So I'm gonna say that choice C is the best answer.